John. Hey. John, I hold in my hands the cards for tonight's guest. We have oh, yes. the one, the only, the American treasure, Jeff Daniels, is yes. here today. Yes. 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 Great Still mocking on Broadway. And our second guest tonight, new to the CBS family, right? Is he new? new to the, uh, uh, Nate Burleson, who is now the new host on the new CBS morning show. Yes. Which yes. Which is called... Obviously, former, former NFL star, but now uh, on the CBS morning show called... It used to be called CBS This Morning. See this morning? And now it's called CBS Mornings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mornings. It's a big, big change. Yeah. <laughs> it's mornings. It's yes. mornings. It's mornings. And That's I think one of the reasons they changed it, and you correct me if I'm wrong, because you should produce the old show. It used to be called CBS This Morning, and then people would watch and go, well, yes. I watched the show this morning. I guess that's the only show, because it's singular. Right. Yes. Then they went, no, we should go with plural, CBS Mornings, so they know that there's one every day. That's right. In there. That's right. Mornings. It's, it's, mornings. it's happening. It's, it's constantly, constantly happening. It's constantly, yes. yeah. No definitive end. It's just right. mornings. That's, 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 yeah. that's their motto. No definitive end yeah. to today's show. Um, John, I understand that shortly before the show began this evening, we got some sad news um, about the founder of the Newport Jazz Festival. T tell me about this gentleman. George Wing. He passed away this morning. Uh, he founded Newport Folk, Newport Jazz. He's considered by many the creator of the jazz festival, music festivals in general, or a debt to him. He was someone so special to me. He really believed in me since I was a kid. He, he would always encourage me when I moved. He would always book me. So oh, really? I loved it. And I loved getting to know him and hearing the story he told about Miles and all of the greats you know, that he would manage or hang out with. So I just want to say that uh, we love you, George. Rest in peace. Thank you, John. Folks, this Saturday, of course, was the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Presidents Clinton, Obama, and Biden appeared together at Ground Zero. George W. Bush spoke in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. And one former president did color commentary for a pay-per-view boxing match that did not last an entire round. Was that Jimmy Carter? It was not Carter. Well... <laughs> We'll never know who it was. <laughs> we also... We also heard from former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani, seen here trying to read the specials at the massage parlor. In his speech, Giuliani focused on what's important from that day, making fun of how Queen Elizabeth reacted to his handling of the tragedy. She said, you did it. You did a wonderful job <laughs> on September 11th. And therefore, I'm making you an honorary knight, commander of the royal something or other. If you want to see more of Rudy's Queen Elizabeth, you can catch him in the upcoming Netflix series, The Clown. <laughs> but... <laughs> That's not all Rudy had to say about the royal family. I know Prince Andrew is very uh, questionable now. I never went out with him. Ever. Never. Never had a drink with him. Never was with a woman or a young girl with him. Ever, ever, ever. One time I met him in my office, and one time when we had the party. Right, Bernie? You were there. Again, this speech was supposed to be about 9-11 on 9-11. Remind me never to have Rudy speak at my funeral. We're gathered here to celebrate a life, but before that, I just want you to know I never, ever took a road trip with that homicidal drifter, ever, except for that time we drove to Wisconsin. You were there, right, Bernie? The point is, Bernie's my alibi. Rudy, Rudy's rambling 9-11 speech led many to speculate that he was drunk out of his mind. Well, nice to know he's cutting back. Of course, Rudy didn't dignify these accusations with a response. He dignified them with many, saying, yes, I had a scotch, but I was not drunk, adding, I'm not an alcoholic. I use the word functioning. I don't know why I use the word functioning. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm 77 years old. I've never been treated for alcoholism. Yes, that is clear. <laughs> but if you want to deny you're an alcoholic, maybe don't choose a word that famously precedes the word alcoholic. It's like saying, I'm not Mrs. Maisel, I'm a marvelous. I don't know why I use the word marvelous. I've never been treated for being Mrs. Maisel. Rudy continued, I am not a drunk. 
I don't think I've ever been publicly drunk in my life, adding, I can't remember the last time I was drunk. <laughs> and I won't remember this time either. Rudy somehow concluded, saying, I'm probably one of the sharpest guys you're ever going to meet, and you want to put me in a courtroom, and I'll kick the <laughs> out of anybody. You know how a sober person acts in court. I'm the smartest person in this trial. You don't believe me? Let's fight. I love you, man. Just a small town boy. <laughs> Born and raised in South <laughs> No further questions. <laughs> we'll be right back with Jeff Daniels.